Hi, today I am going to introduce you Selenium Web Testing Toolkit. This is one of the best web testing open source toolkits available today. Using Selenium Web Testing Toolkit, you can automate all your web based applications very easily. The best part with Selenium is you need not to stick to one programming language to write your test cases. You can use your favorite programming languages like Java, .NET as you as a choice or the sub or uh, the supported programming languages which selenium supports you can write your test cases the main components of uh, selenium are selenium uh, firefox plugin which you which is used to record all the test web test cases and we have a selenium remote control uh, which i introduce you uh, in the architecture very clearly where the remote controller is a component uh, which executes the instructions which are uh, which are fired from the selenium uh, test case you need to have following uh, uh, things in your inst mission in your environment to run the selenium so you need to have a selenium firefox plugin where you record all your test cases you need to have a selenium remote controller server uh, which listens to all the instructions from Selenium client program and executes instructions and you need to have a J unit or test ng unit testing framework toolkit and obviously you need to have a JDK uh, you are as you are as you are choosing Java as a programming language let me show you the architecture of a Selenium the three main components of the Selenium are you have a selenium test case which is written in java ruby python or any programming language and you have a remote control server which is nothing but a selenium server uh, which listens to the instructions from the selenium program uh, test case program is namely client uh, the, re the server receives all the instructions and executes those instructions against the desired process like internet explorer firefox or safari so uh, the, the java client or selenium client sends instructions to the selenium server and selenium server will open appropriate web browsers ie firefox or safari and runs the test cases against them here i am going to show you a small uh, hello world selenium uh, where we are going to, what we are going to do here is we are going to go into the google's website and uh, key a keyword java and click search in the search results we will check whether uh, we are going to get uh, the occurrences of java keyword or not so the first thing which we are going to do is using selenium ide we are going to record all the events that happened uh, such as key opening the google website uh, keying in the java keyword and clicking on the search button so these are all the events which we record and uh, we export those events into a java a j unit test case and run them hi uh, here i am going to show you a small use case where uh, i am going to open a web browser and uh, go to google's home page and search for the keyword java and i'll observe whether i am going to get all the results that have the keyword java or not okay this is the use case which i am going to automate using selenium where i open the google search website key in the keyword java and uh, search for the keyword uh, search in the results whether the keyword java is available or not okay so as i discussed earlier you need to have a selenium plugin uh, and selenium firefox plugin which will help you uh, to record these events which are going to happen now let us see you have a selenium id here you can see a selenium id uh, which helps us to record the events which discuss now in the options go to format and select html uh, so that here you can see the generated source is html in the file new test case you can start a new test case 
and chosen the recording format as an HTML and we can start recording the test case in the extreme right corner you can click on the click record button where the recording starts so go to the Google's website and key in the keyword Java and click on the search button to see the search results that has the Java occurred or not let us try to check whether uh, the first whether the result has the Java keyword or not so right click when right click on a particular item will give you the selenium actions which can do so one of the action is verify text present Java dot not so this is you can click on this and this action will be recorded so and uh, now click on stop to the recording so now you have recorded the test case where we will log in the open the browser we will go into the google search page of google and key the word here you can see the format which was generated is is the html but here we have chosen java as our programming language so go to options format and convert into a j unit test case here you can see uh, a j unit test case was created uh, for the uh, for the test recording which we have done so now uh, let me open uh, let me open and uh, uh, let me compile this Java code and run against the server let us try to compile the generated uh, Java code using uh, Java compiler now we have seen the selenium ide eclipse plugin uh, which created the java code let us try to compile it and then again run against server so let me go to the folder uh, java.selenium where i am going to create uh, a Java class named hello world dot Java and copy the generated code which we got from the IDE so this is the one which I went to copy so this is the auto generated code uh, by the selenium ide plugin now let us change the class name to hello world and save it to compile the code here you need to have uh, junit.jar uh, which is a necessary library and another library which you need to have is a selenium client driver.jar now and this is a class file which we have hello world.java one more thing you might have observed here now the generated hello world doesn't have a main method uh, because uh, it's a it's a j, j unit test case okay where you can uh, run using a j unit uh, framework let me add the main method to it so the simple main method which I am adding uh, will run the test cases which was generated now so so I am adding a main method to the generated class hello world and which is going to be run using j unit now uh, let me compile the code uh, use so here you see java c and uh, i have j unit dot jar and selenium client driver dot jar and i am going to compile the hello world code so now let us see Oh. 
Hi, uh, let us fix the few of the compilation problems which we faced. Uh, let me open the hello world dot java. Uh, the first mistake which I have done is there is a space in the method signature which needs to be corrected. Test hello world, and uh, that's it. That is the only problem. And here you can see I added a one more statement to make the thread to sleep for uh, six seconds so that uh, we can see the test results before uh, before the program get exited uh, so save it uh, and uh, now compile the our hello world dot java uh, so the compilation was successful now we recorded the test case, exported it to the Java program. We added a necessary jars in the class path and we compiled and uh, dot class file got generated. Now our next aim is, uh, as I said, uh, the client server architecture of uh, Selenium. We need to have a Selenium server which run. So I am running a Selenium server uh, using the command java and jar selenium server dot jar okay with this runs the selenium server and uh, you can notice that selenium server is binded to 4444 port double four double four port so this is a port on which the selenium server is running now let us uh, run our uh, uh, test case uh, using j unit okay now you we need to have junit and uh, selenium driver in the class path and uh, uh, we can run the generated class file now now you can see that uh, uh, the generated uh, class file got or our test case is running you can see the selenium uh, rc control opened and uh, uh, it keys the java keyword and you can see the search results are appearing and you can see the test result it is okay so our test case is passed our test case main goal is let me explain you it is opening the google's web page then uh, typing the keyword java okay, and clicking on the search button and waiting for uh, three seconds for the page to 30 seconds for the page to reload after that it is searching whether uh, the particular uh, text was available or not after that uh, i manually made this statement to sleep for some time so you can observe once i run this test case uh, automatically the selenium the selenium id comes up sorry the selenium rc uh, comes up and uh, you can see the command history where the commands get executed and you can see that it's got typed and the results were observed uh, here you can observe the selenium server which is listening to all the instructions and it is the one which is responsible for opening the firefox and executing the instructions and here is the client which is running uh, with this i uh, end the introduction to selenium it's one of the powerful uh, testing toolkit uh, which you can try uh, in my successive sessions i'm going to explain you a bit detail and deeper into the selenium and its usage hope you enjoyed the tutorial